On this episode of the Globe Sports Corner, the rivalry between Goshen College and Bethel gets a fresh new look with the creation of the U.S. Highway 20 Cup. Plus, we sit down with men's basketball fifth-year Austin Brannigan to discuss his return from injury. All that and more on this episode of the Globe Sports Corner. From the Globe Studios in Goshen, my name is Tyson Miller. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. This is a great time of year with fall sports wrapping up and winter sports just getting underway, and I must say that I'm excited to be in the hosting spot for the first time. Later on, we'll talk to cross-country head coach Rustin Nice as he prepares for the postseason. But first, Goshen College and Bethel have had a long-standing rivalry. This rivalry became official in 2019 with the creation of the U.S. Highway 20 Cup, though due to COVID-19, the rivalry was not widely publicized. That's me, Tyson Miller, with the story. Goshen College and Bethel have a long-standing rivalry, but recently that became official with the creation of the U.S. Highway 20 Cup. Named for the highway that runs from Bethel's campus in Mishawaka to Goshen College's campus, the rivalry became official just a few years ago. So the U.S. 20 Cup started in the fall of 2019, which was the second year that Harold Watson was here as the athletic director. And Harold came in and said, we clearly have this existing rivalry with Goshen and Bethel that's way more than just scratching the surface let's let's put a trophy on it and you know put something on the line and codify that we are rivals with each other the cup awards points to either college for each win they get over the other school during the course of an academic year bethel and goshen share 14 sports so each sport gets one point in the rivalry trophy series and then at the end of the year you add up all the points and whoever wins more of the points gets the u.s highway 20 cup Goshen College and Bethel are not only conference opponents, but the two schools are separated by a mere 26 miles. So games with Bethel usually are more, I would say, intense just because they've always been a really competitive team and a team that we uh, look forward to playing because they play to a very, um, like, a similar level that we play. Um, and I would just say over the past years, like, it's always been a battle in the sense of, you know, the outcome, no matter what happens, like we know that both Bethel and Goshen put their best foot forward. I think the great thing about the U.S. Highway 20 Cup is that it lets you circle some dates on your calendar and put a meaning on that beyond just we really want to beat this school. It's uh, Sometimes it's a consolation prize. The whole, our year's not really going well, but if we can go beat Bethel, at least part of that gets made up. Sometimes it's a case of we know this is a good year because we beat Bethel. No matter how the season's going for either team, you can count on games between Goshen and Bethel to be fiercely competitive, and the recent creation of the U.S. Highway 20 Cup only makes it more so. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Tyson Miller. Games between Goshen and Bethel are always exciting, and this just ensures they will continue to be. Coming up next, we're going to speak with cross-country head coach Rustin Nice on preparing for the postseason and the team's culture. All that and more on the Globe Sports Corner. the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. We're now going to sit down with Goshen College Cross Country Head Coach Rustin Nice. Rustin, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me here. Coach, as you look back on the season, what individuals stand out to you, both top performance and some improvement? Yeah, I mean, obviously the, the record breakers stand out. So Nelson, he's really fast, the fastest guy that I've ever done it here. So that stands out. But the improvement in the men's team and also the women's team, they, they broke the team overall record, so that stands out. But individually, they're all doing really outstanding. And so each individual at different times stands out just by the work that they're putting in and how they, they feel about their performances. So Nelson's an easy one to pick, but like Annika Alderfer Fisher had a great race. Um, Arlette Martinez had a huge PR. So they're, it's, it's across the board. I think everybody's doing a great job. Absolutely, that's great. Cross country is one of the more successful sports on campus and tends to have a, a rather unique culture compared to some of the other sports. Is this difference intentional, and how does that factor into the success that you guys experience? Well, I appreciate you saying that we're successful, and we have a unique culture, I think, because distance running is, is unique, right? So you're, you're out, and it's, it's kind of a lonely sport sometimes because you spend a lot of time training on your own, and you have to trust in your teammates to do that. 
And we've been fortunate to be able to attract really just great sound individuals to a program who like being around each other. And so that really contributes to the culture and just just their camaraderie and their, their teammate, their sportsmanship, the, the way that they're around each other and the way that they support each other and feel about each other is really feeds into our culture. So I wouldn't say it's it's necessarily fully intentional, but we've been able to have student athletes here that, that really buy into doing work for each other. Yeah. As you look forward to next year, you're returning a lot of your top runners. How does that impact the team as you plan for next year? Hopefully positively, right? Yeah. Um, so we can lean into upperclassmen leadership, both on the men's and the women's side, and that's something that as a coach, you kind of want because the less that you have to do, the more the team is, is driven by the student athletes and, and that's what you want it to be. So I can lean into my, my leadership as I have in the past and they can really kind of dictate how the team um, functions and manages. So they've been there, they know what to do and I think that that will carry over into next year. Absolutely. So coach, this upcoming weekend, uh, you're competing in the Crossroads League Championship. Um, mm -hmm. As it stands, if the season ended today, Goshen would not make the national championships, but it seems that, you know, it's kind of on the fence here. So make it simple for us. What needs to happen for Goshen to move up a couple spots and make it to the national championships? So make it simple? Yeah. We have to run well. We have to believe in what we can do and the training that we've put in. We just need to go run well. And then at the end of it, if we're, we're proud of our effort, I think we'll be where we need to be. That's great. Coach, thank you so much for your time and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. When we come back, a look at men's basketball and the return of a key impact player. That and more on the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Next on the Globe Sports Corner, Goshen College fifth year, Austin Brannigan discusses his injury as well as his return to the court for the Goshen College men's basketball team. Dante Stanton has the inspiring story. If you've been following Goshen College basketball for the past couple seasons, you've probably heard the name Austin Brannigan. The fifth year senior has at times been a one-man wrecking crew for the Goshen College Maple Leafs, but last season suffered a devastating ACL tear injury that kept him out for the remainder of the season. This year, the six foot seven senior is making a comeback bid. Was it ever in doubt that you'd get back this season? Uh, no, it wasn't. Um, I was going to play regardless. Um, I've had a previous injury when I first got here that was kind of the same thing, but shoulder. Um, honestly, once I put in the work and did what I have to do, I could, I could get it done. I wasn't worried about it. Uh, so how long did the recovery process take, and is there still more to go? Um, so yeah, the recovery process, uh, it was eight months. Uh, I think I did it in about, I got cleared around six and a half, seven. Um, it's still kind of going on right now. Uh, I partially retoured my ACL again this summer. Um, so I've been working through that. I mean, I worked that out all year, but it's just strengthening and just wearing a brace and just trying to do as little, but be efficient as possible. How did the injury affect your mental state and your attitude for the game? Um, Mentally, it was it was a little bit of a setback. Like, I was kind of disappointed I couldn't finish out last year's season. Um, but overall, I think it just drove me more to want to get back to basketball and loving the sport a little bit more because sitting out was was not fun. So I just wanted to play more, and I don't I don't I don't think it's going to set me back at all mentally. While Austin Brannigan's journey back to stardom includes lofty goals such as making all-conference or even all-American teams, his coaching staff recognizes how much more of a factor he brings to the team than individual accolades and admits that it was difficult last season not having him as a presence, both on and off the court. It's, it's weird when you don't have that guy to just throw it down to and say, go and get us a bucket. Uh, so not having that, I mean, it's a huge, huge hole, not only uh, from the basketball standpoint too, but even off the court and, and on the bench, just having the guys around that trust him and, and know he's a reliable guy. So it's, it's a huge difference. We're glad to have him back. Uh, that's another thing. Does he play a leadership role? In fact, does leadership kind of factor in as, as a fifth-year senior? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, he's been here longer than I have and our other assistant coach, for a matter of fact. So uh, he has some experience. He, he's obviously been on the team the longest, uh, 
been through it for five years, had a redshirt year. And the awesome thing with him is he's gotten better every year. Uh, dude works his tail off. He's always in the weight room, always in the gym, uh, just getting better. So it's good to have him back. Austin Brannigan has so far played in each contest this season and is most looking forward to picking up wins and hopefully making the conference tournament. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Dante Stanton. A great story there. We look forward to watching Austin and the rest of the team on the court this winter. Coming up next, we'll take a look at the upcoming Goshen College athletic events that you can look forward to this weekend on the Globe Sports Corner. I came to Goshen thinking that I'd just be acting, but over the course of my four years, I've taken part in all the other facets of the theater, and I think that's helped me gain a wider appreciation for theater as a whole. I mean, it takes all those things that I'm interested in, like design aspects of theater, the environmental studies course I took, and it takes my music major, and it just focuses it all into theater. We're back on the Globe Sports Corner. Capping off this episode, we're going to take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Maple Leafs. Starting off tonight at 7, men's basketball takes on St. Mary of the Woods College. That game is on the road. And then on Friday, both basketball teams are in action. The men's team with an exhibition up at Eastern Michigan University. The women will take on the University of Rio Grande in the University of Rio Grande Classic over in Ohio. Both of those games will start at 7. Then Saturday, a busy day with five different teams in action, men and women's cross country, both in action at the Crossroads League Championship, looking to advance to the national stage. The men run at 10.30 and the women run at 11.45. Women's soccer plays in the Crossroads League Tournament quarterfinal. The time for that is still to be determined. Women's basketball takes on West Virginia University in the one o'clock game as part of the Rio Grande Classic. And men's basketball takes on Concordia University in an away matchup, that game starting at 3 p.m. For more information about Goshen College athletics or to see results from those events, visit goleafs.net. That's all for us this week on the Globe Sports Corner. Make sure to check out our social media pages at 911theglobe on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can also check out our content posted on our website at globeradio.org. This has been your Globe Sports Corner. Until next time, I'm Tyson Miller.